Okay, so um, the aim of this next tutorial is now to add our um, delete button and possibly an edit button. I, I don't know. We're just going to keep it with the, the delete first of all. Um, that'll be it. And also potentially what we need is um, a, a date and time of when um, the comment was made. Um, but we'll add that further to the end. Okay, The delete button we're going to stick just in the corner here, in the top, the top right hand corner of the one box itself. So let's go ahead and get this done shall we okay so let's come to our HTML let's keep this this text in here for the time being we could just reduce it down with um, with NetBeans okay so where's the uh, let's just get that out of the way alright so we don't confuse you this is what we're working with this this one li um, right now okay just this so we need to have a delete button in here at one point now do we want to put it um, with inside of the um, with side of this because that's potentially where um, where the button's going to sit it's going to sit um, with inside of this H3 but I don't want to put it inside of that I just want to ha hang it right up the top of the right hand corner of this comment holder box on the outside so I want it to sit directly on the far right hand top right hand side of this one Li okay now I'm going to put this button at the bottom okay um, but we're going to call it um, Okay, so comments, buttons, holder, and I'm going to call it buttons holder because uh, potentially I, I aim I aim to put another button in it at one point. Okay, so we're just going to use the li um, the unordered list and the li's, and for the sake of this in the beginning, we're just going to say um, with an X. All right, we could get an image um, for this as well, and let's just say that this is then um, delete. BTN okay and yeah that would be fine okay so we need uh, this here let's come down to here and let's then say uh, comment holder comment buttons holder and we need to want to prefix this with the UL so we're oh no it wasn't UL it was div class okay so we remove that Okay, so we want to put this um, position absolute, all right? So let's just say position absolute. In order for us to make this one bit position absolute with this one li, we need to tell the li, hey, this something inside of here is position absolute. So with inside of our li comment holder, we're going to set this to position relative, okay? Now you'll see why in a second. So let's come back down to here, and we're going to say then top and it's going to be zero pixels and right is going to be zero pixels in the beginning okay and it's going to be a width of uh, let's say 100 height of 25 pixels and then a the background um, for the beginning uh, we're just going to do is red okay um, yeah that's it for the time being okay, so let's have a look here Okay, and as you can see, the buttons are up here. And I think height 25 is just too much, personally. So let's do a height of 20. Let's change that. Come back to here. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, so we have now can have our button um, coming in here. All right. So now that we've done that, we now need to actually edit um, the unordered list itself to knock out any um, list style type. So let's say uh, within here, the UL, and let's say list style type is equal to none, and uh, width is equal to auto, height is equal to auto, because it will just auto expand in height and width, it will be fine. Um, and then I want to say overflow is equal to hidden once again uh, because it's going to have some floated elements with inside of it and now let's come to our um, LIs that are with inside of it and yeah okay that's just specifically with the delete button that we want to um, we want to style uh, but we're going to say float uh, right and uh, height is equal to 20 pixels width is equal to 20 pixels because the, they're just going to be small buttons okay and then background is equal to then let's say blue okay let's have a look at what this looks like now okay we've just got one delete button so far okay 
and let's say text align center and uh, yeah that's good and let's have another look okay so it sits in the middle uh, I mean the text is a little bit um, too big for the time uh, uh, the, 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 uh, excuse me at this one point and uh, so let's now just put some line height on it line height and oh, I think 17 should be fine let's knock out this one background of here whoops let's get rid of the blue background because it's horrid and the red background on here because we don't need it anymore and let's say color is equal to then 666 and then I'll kind of a kind of Facebook color let's use the, uh, the Facebook standard as such and uh, although blue is my favorite color um, yeah no, that's it really blue is my favorite color um, and actually on the blue let's do let's do more of a white shall we because we're sat on the on a blue background therefore we could possibly just have white okay that's pretty cool um, I don't know about these square brackets let's possibly remove these square brackets okay let's have another look okay kind of sits nearly in the middle so let's just bump that line height up a little bit I reckon so to 18 now sometimes it's a nightmare just yeah that's good that's good I like that alright so now we need to as we can see that because this is text we're getting the, the text cursor uh, we don't want that because this is a button so with CSS we can change this so we we'll say um, cursor is equal to pointer spelling it correctly and let's just copy this and we'll add some form of hover um, to it as well and we'll just say color is equal to then I don't know 444 four, four on here let's come back give it a refresh okay there we go that's fine and let's change this um, this one color of the background to change very very slightly so let's take um, this color which is the background let's come in here which we've got the same as well and we want to um, go lighter all right so let's go like three touches lighter all right and come to here and we'll just say background is equal to that one there come back to Firefox come back to our comment box area refresh the page okay no, that's cool I like that it's good enough right so now that's our um, our delete button now we don't want the delete button there all the time we only want the delete button when the user hovers over our li comment holder as such so let's change that shall we so in the beginning we want our comment button holder ul to be display is equal to none we don't want it to display in the beginning okay so let's refresh that and it doesn't display which is exactly what we want now in order for us to do this we need to know that when the user hovers over the comment holder itself so let's come back down to our button area so we don't um, get confused by what's going on oh no we want it on I'm sorry let's just chuck that in there first of all the display none we want totally on our comment buttons holder we don't want that displaying okay so on our li comment holder we want to know when we're on the hover state that we're going to affect the comment buttons holder okay that's why we put the the hover state on here so we're only talking to um, uh, elements that or this element that is hovering but the actual CSS class itself or style is going on this one here and we can say display equals block so we're going to display it let's have a look at whether it works refresh and hover and there we go and then we come over here and we hover and that one's fine and we go out and it's gone no JavaScript just with CSS okay it's all fine and our button works okay well it doesn't work at the moment but it looks like a button and it's going to display as a button so let's just come out and we, we can see here we get our delete button right which is cool alright I mean you could put it in red but let's just keep it in blue for now okay so that's everything done we need to add it to this one um, box here but potentially we're going to dynamically um, list out all this information 
So let's just copy our comment button holder and come down to this other one and place it there as well. Let's refresh. Okay, hover over this one and our button's there and that one and our button's there. Now, this one uh, image, let's put some form of um, rollover on this one image as well just to finish off, shall we? Okay, so where was the image? The image is then user pick is here. Okay, so but we can just do it on this bit here. So the user image was the actual uh, this here. Okay, and that that one had ah oh, it was the image that had the border. Sorry, my mistake. So we need to copy this one here, and let's then say the image pick a hover and let's change the border uh, to be just a bit darker so we can say then I don't know um, what have we got what have we got we got let's say let's say uh, 919191 so let's see what this one does okay we've got a very slight change which is all we want we want a slight change in it I don't know whether you can see that but I can see it on my monitor it we just change it so let's put I'll tell you what, just to show you, let's put it to 515151 five, five, and you'll really see the change now. Okay, there's the change. Okay, I don't want that much of a change to be honest with you. Maybe 8181 eight, will be fine. Okay, so we're just knocking it down a few scales of grey. Okay, there we go, that one's fine. And also, we want to do a hover on the username itself, um, which was, let's just have a look at the, the, um, the line number on here. So it's user field which was line 117 let's come down to here so we've got line 117 let's then copy this user field and let's put a hover on this as well okay and we're nearly on to doing some JavaScript or actually we're nearly on to doing some other boxes okay so the color let's change and we had that color of this in the beginning so let's come back to the color picker Let's chuck that in there, see what we've got there, and we want to go darker on this one. And let's just copy that one there, paste that in there, refresh the page, come to here as such, sorry, refresh it, and we get a darker colour. Now, at the moment, because this is not a link, now, for example, you might have a, a link to somewhere else, um, to another website that you might want to show, but um, this is fine. Okay, we're just final final thing. We're going to put a border change on the actual li comment holder um, itself. So the comment holder was then just here, and let's just do a border. We had written it already. Um, we've got border of that one there. So let's just copy that one again. Whoops. Let's copy that again there, and we've got e1. So we want to go darker. So by going I don't know, D1 is not going to be right, but C1, C1 will be fine, it's just notching it down two bits. Okay, now we get, now that's a lot nicer, okay? So now we've got some form of distinction between the, the two comments, which is what we want, okay? Alright, so now we need to um, have an area where the user can actually comment in, alright, which we're going to place um, above, basically below the user feedback, and above the first um, comment itself. I'm going to do that in the next tutorial. Okay, so I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.